Okay, and now to begin our week, you have the chance to give back while enjoying some really good food. For the 26th year, the Columbia Restaurant Group is holding its annual Community Harvest. So joining us today to talk about how you can get involved is Andrea Gonzmart williams a fifth generation of the 1905 family of restaurants. Good to see you. Always happy to be here, oh, ladies. Yes. Awesome. And we love what you bring along with you. It <laughs> smells amazing, and you just started. Yeah, I did just started. I'm making shrimp al ajio, super simple. Um, garlic, shrimp, you'll see me as I build it, and it's always great to go right on top of a 1905 salad, which everyone loves. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. And as of course, uh, we want to dive in and talk all about this recipe. I love continuing to learn about the community harvest. I, I mean, I know your family has such a passion for being able to help the community and, and show your involvement, show your thanks. Is that where this was born, or where was this idea born? It was really, it was 20, 26 years now, which is crazy yeah. ago. My father was like, how do I give back to this community that has supported supported us now over a century going into our 118th year and he created a community harvest and I can't believe here we are like I said 26 years later we are 3.5 million dollars that we've given back to charities which is super awesome mm -hmm. um, it allows us to feel so rewarded to do it mm -hmm. and it gives our customers an opportunity to feel like they're part of it as well. Yes. So how does it work? For people maybe who haven't participated and they want to learn a little bit about how it works, what do you do? All you have to go is go into the Columbia, mm -hmm. have lunch, have dinner, and then we present you with one of those ballots. You have one right there. Ta-da! You select a short charity of your choice that we have listed or you can fill in any charity. Mm -hmm. I love this. And 5% of your check will go back to that charity. That's amazing. So it is literally just go in, eat some yummy food, and you're doing something so great. And you know what I think is fabulous? And you and I were talking because we've seen each other at several you know, galas and things through the community. It's such a philanthropic area we live in. Mm -hmm. And I love the community harvest because it's the different genres. You've got ways you're helping kids, for instance, with the Children's Dream Fund that we just learned about. Then, of course, the animals with the Humane Society. Mm -hmm. Then the YMCA. I mean, it seems like you've really taken a way to kind of impact several different communities or like you said, write your own in. Absolutely. In each Columbia, we have different charities in the different areas. Okay. And the exciting thing is this is our second year that you can dine at any of our establishments. So Eulalie, Chacha Coconuts in Sarasota, Goody Goody, Casa Santo Stefano, and you have the opportunity to do the same thing. I think this is such a win-win. And I, by the way, did I just get a whiff of lemon? Yes, a little lemon. Okay. We've got the chili so. pepper in there. I just put some parsley. I'm going to top it with some white wine. And it's that simple. It really is. And you can eat this as an appetizer. Okay. You can put it on top of your 1905 salad. Um, you can do a small batch like I'm doing right now. You can do a big batch and it holds great. I, I feel like every time you're here, you always talk about the simplicity of the recipes you put together. I mean, simplicity for me is a bowl of cereal. <laughs> so, I mean, you and I are very different in that sense, but I feel like that's what you try, you know, you try to bring these simple mm -hmm. recipes that your family has known for so many when years. When I come and see you, I want to cook something that your viewers can cook up easily at home, minimal ingredients. But then, of course, you can always come to the Columbia and eat it. Yeah, that's, that's the, the easiest, that's the easiest way. Exactly. <laughs> that's what I'm doing. And then maybe you know, oh, have to have the sangria as well. You know, just gotta. You throw can't that forget out that. There. It was a toss-up between doing sangria today or this. We decided to go healthier. Well, I mean, you have to come back. You know that, then, right? You know, I will always come back. <laughs> and then we just top it right there. Usually the 1905 salad has ham on it, but you can order it with shrimp or turkey. I didn't know that. Yes, a lot of people don't. This is one of my most favorite ways to do it. I it looks never fantastic. had this before. And that's simple. So come in, dine, be part of our community harvest, have 1905 salad, and you're doing good. You are. Again, I'm so, I just am so impressed each year when we talk about it, all the ways to give back. That's right, 5% of all bills donated to charity this month. What a special month. What a special dish. As always, thanks for coming and visiting. Yes, it was great to have Thank you. Thank you so much. Now we gotta find those forks. Yes.